How is everybody doing today? It is Termo Terminator coming at you with a new Tribes of Midgard video. This is tips on how to survive up to day 15 and beyond. Um, these are the steps I took and I actually managed to get to day 15. Um, definitely very difficult. Day 14, day 15 are both crazy. They're both full night days, which just is insane. So uh, if you guys want to see some of the footage of that, that's at the end of the video. I did link that in here, but let's just get started with it. So the first prerequisites to help you get to those crazy amounts of days, you know, 13, 14, 15, and, and beyond, is you're going to want, obviously, the first starter pack, which is going to give you a full set of armor and a sword. This will help you get your mats and things very quickly, you know, going to those uh, small bases and just looting the chests. That'll get you souls quickly uh, right at the gate. And then you're going to want to shoot for upgrading that villager sword one to villager sword two. This will give you the firepower. Uh, for your first two nights, three nights even, to you know defend your village without walls. Um, but we're going to be wanting to shoot for a lot of materials because we're going to uh, build the lumber yard and the uh, quarry. They are both uh, right around the outside of the village. This allows us to you know passively generate um, those materials without having to collect them. Um, usually, I shoot for going. Uh, for building the quarry first as the quarry is the um, You know, it gives you the more rare out of the materials. It gives you raw iron It gives you this chiseled stone and it's every 10 minutes and it fills your box uh, at the village up So it's definitely worth it. So I shoot for that one first This will allow you to then you know go cut wood get your branches to make those planks uh, from the tinkerer um, so that definitely is the recommended steps is go quarry first and then lumberyard. And once those two are created, every 10 minutes you will passively generate uh, the materials that um, are required to build the walls and also build the uh, archer stands, which are surprisingly underrated for, um, for this, you know, for this game, but they do tend to do, they do chip away at the health a lot. So it's recommended that we build those out to tier three on each of the walls. There's two per wall. So there's a total of six in the town. So um, that assisted me getting up to the higher ranks very quickly. And um, it's just definitely recommended to take those steps and get those built. Um, and then obviously you're gonna wanna shoot for creating your walls up to tier three. This will give them the most uh, protection of your town. And then obviously, um, the next steps would be to, um, you know, devise the situation or plan on how to, uh, you know, protect those walls. Uh, how I do it, and I will, I'll show you a clip here soon of uh, me doing it, is I usually go to each wall or each gate, open the gate, kill all the enemies quickly, close the gate, run to the next gate, and just consistently do that in a circle. So it keeps the wall's health, you know, higher up. As, uh, as the day goes from, or night goes from, goes to day, the walls passively get um, healed, so is the less damage that are done to them, the faster they'll heal basically or be full. Uh, but as you can see here, I just kind of go back and forth and chip away at the open the gate, you know, kill all the enemies, close the gate, run to the next gate, and just consistently doing that will help uh, save the health on the gates. And obviously, you're going to want to keep chipping away at your titans before they get to your village because they're going to be the ones that are going to destroy the gates the fastest. So that definitely is the steps for it. So as you can see here, I did make it to day 15. Um, sadly enough, it you know my wall ended up breaking on the one side because I got unlucky of a titan spawn because he... Uh, Decided to spawn and get pretty close to my village, and I didn't know what to do either to kill him or, you know, let my village break and die. So, but uh, I did manage to get to day 15, and I'll probably be doing another run getting up to day 16 so I get that challenge done. And uh, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped, and uh, have a good day.